Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try something a little different. This is from Costco. This one is the, if I can see it, there we go, roasted chicken sandwich and a Caesar salad. So that's what it is. It was $6.99 for the entire thing you get. Um, I'm just going to open it so you can see it. Maybe I'll open it. Okay, you get um, a croissant sandwich with lots of chicken on it. You get a thing of croutons. You get two things of, or you get a dressing, sorry. You get one thing of dressing, and this is for your sandwich, I'm assuming, one, vice versa. One or the other, I think that's for your dressing, this is for your sandwich. And then you get the Caesar salad. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat this in one sitting, I think I could actually. Um, but we'll see. I may not eat all of it. I may only eat half the sandwich and half the salad. I got a bowl. I got a bowl over here. I can put some of the, the lettuce and stuff. I'm only going to eat half of it for right now. And we'll see how well it goes. I mean, like I said, I may only eat half of it. So anyway, I'll be right back. I made up the salad. All I did was I filled the bowl up with uh, the salad. And I put about half, maybe a little less than half of the croutons on there. And not even... Not even half of the dressing. I mean, the dressing is still up to here, so it's still pretty thick. And so, as I eat it, I can add a little bit more if I want to. Um, this uh, is your dressing for your sandwich. It tastes like I just stuck my finger in it. And tasted it. It tastes like a mayonnaise um, mayonnaise mustard blend, like mixed up mayonnaise and mustard. It tastes fine. I didn't get it out yet, but um, but I, that's what I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna try the salad first, and I really just want to see is this really enough? Like I split it in half. Is that going to be enough food um, for you to have two meals? Like, could two people eat on this, or is this really just for one person? And um, you know, it's, the sandwich seems really thick for one person. But let's see. The only bad thing is I don't know the calories. I know that people have posted calories online for Costco stuff, so I'm sure you can find it. Um, I just haven't looked for it. Um, that dressing is pretty good. The um, it does it doesn't really taste like a. I guess it tastes somewhat like a Caesar salad. It reminds you more of a, almost like a ranch. No, I mean it is Caesar dressing, but um, it's not a really super strong Caesar dressing. The croutons are good and crispy and crunchy and and have quite a bit of flavor, but the dressing themselves is a little light. I mean it has flavor. It's just not. It's not the best. Caesar dressing I've ever had. But still pretty good. If you don't want Caesar, you could probably actually pour some of that on there because you get a lot of that, of that sandwich bread. All right, now here's the sandwich. That's a thick sandwich. I mean, it's as thick as my hand is almost. Um, quite a bit of turkey on there. Let me just dissect it for you here. There you get tomato and cheese. It looks like a either a white um, American cheese or maybe a, um, um, I don't know what kind of cheese it is, Swiss maybe. And then you get um, the turkey and they're slices, but they're they're folded over. And you can see each slice is pretty thick. And then you get a layer of lettuce and then you get another thing of cheese and then the, uh, the bottom of the croissant. So uh, there's quite a bit of um, meat there. So let me put a little bit of this mayo mustard combo or at least that's what it tastes like to me and i'm gonna make a mess out of this but here we go definitely mustard very strong mustard too but um but like i said it tastes like it has a creamy bit of mayonnaise in there too but it is a strong mustard flavor if you don't like mustard you probably don't want to try that that sauce so here we go I like that. It kind of has a, it reminds you a little bit of the horsey sauce at, or at Arby's without the spice. That's what the flavors kind of remind you of. Um, that's pretty good. I, for me personally, I think you could split this between two people, like especially me and Tammy. Um, me and Tammy could easily split this meal with no problem. Although, like Andrew, Andrew likes to eat a lot more than I, than I do. Um, I used to eat like that, I just can't do it anymore. Um, Andrew would probably see this as one part. He would probably eat this all together. So 
You could eat it as a one person meal. Um, just know that you're gonna be pretty full. I mean, that's quite a bit of food. Um, but think about it, if you had like a thick cheeseburger, that, that'd be about the same thing. So um, me personally, I would make two meals out of it, but you could make two. I mean, you could make uh, one out of it if you really wanted to. Overall, pretty good. Not super crazy about the sandwich sauce. I mean, it's good, but it, I'd rather have uh, just regular straight mayo and not have that mustardy flavor in there. But um, the salad's really good. Everything's good. It's um, it's definitely worth trying out. So if you have a Costco in your area, you want a, a quick lunch or a, a, a lunch for two, um, try this out. I think it's well worth it for $7. You definitely got a good deal going on. Um, it's hard to rate this though. It's good. I mean, it's not something I'm going to go out and buy every day by any means. It's not even something I would probably ever go buy again, honestly. But that's not to say it's not good and worth trying because you might, it's not convenient for me to go to Costco and buy stuff is why. Um, if a Costco is convenient for you, you might buy these all the time. So um, I'm going to give it a three and a half. I'm kind of leaning towards a four because there's nothing bad with it. It's a lot of good food here. Um, yeah, I'll go with a four. Definitely worth trying out. It's definitely something I would eat again. Um, highly recommend going out and trying it out. So, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. All right, just a follow up. I finished eating that and I really should give it just a three. It's just a regular sandwich with some salad. It's nothing spectacular. It's just a regular sandwich. So, it's a three, not a four.